Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews. Tonight I've got a wheat beer for you and it's from Japan. Japanese beer, I think this is a first for the channel. And it is a, uh, a bottle <coughs> from um, Hitachino. I'm not saying it properly. Uh, Hitachino Nest and it's a bottle of their white beer. There is the artwork with a, well, it's like an owl, I'm assuming. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's a wheat beer. It's coming in at 5.5% ABV. There is the bottle cap with the owl on it again. Quite like that. Um, yeah, um, it says it's made by the Kiyuchi Brewery. Or Kiyuchi, Kiyuchi, Kiyuchi Brewery. <coughs> so it's brewed by the Kiyuchi. Um, but it's got Hitachino written on the bottle. Yeah, it's a white wheat beer. Anyway, plenty of information on the back, which is good. So, a wheat beer, or wit beer, brewed with coriander, orange peel and nutmeg. A refreshing beer with spicy notes, soft flavour and mild acidity, produced with wheat malt. <coughs> Ingredients, water, wheat, malted barley, hops, yeast, coriander, nutmeg, orange peel and orange juice. So it sounds a bit like Blue Moon. If you've ever had a blue moon, I'm just going to adjust my camera a little bit. This is only a stubby one. This one. So, yeah. So, it sounds a bit like blue moon. So, I'm expecting a hazy, non-filtered, quite citrusy, very smooth, <clears throat> quite refreshing wheat beer. So, I've even got my wheat beer glass out. And it goes. <coughs> God dear. Terrible cough this evening. And it goes. Lovely jubbly. You see this is kind of one of them little short stubby bottles. It's a 330ml bottle but it's, it's a little short fat one. And they're kind of hard to get into the, the picture without chopping half my head off. <coughs> God dear, I do apologise for the cough. Let's see if I can tilt this up a little bit so I can fit him in. There we go, it's a bit better. Right, so there is the Hitachino Nest wheat beer. As you can see, pretty hazy. You're not seeing much through that. Uh, good levels of carbonation. Lots of bubbles flying up the glass. The head has disappeared quite quickly on this one. <coughs> Bloody hell. Cough. I've just finished playing football. And I think I've got a little bit of a uh, bit of hay fever. Which is uh, making me cough to go with it. Let's get an aroma, shall we? Wow. Okay. Straight away, loads of orange. Getting the coriander. It smells like Blue Moon, and I love Blue Moon. I absolutely adore Blue Moon. <coughs> oh dear, loads of orange. Orange peel, in particular. It smells very nice, nice kind of creamy. What they say is a nutmeg in it as well. I like nutmeg. I like nutmeg. Do, 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 do. Nutmeg, coriander, yep. Orange peel, orange juice. <coughs> it smells like a stronger version of Blue Moon. <clears throat> I mean, this is 5.5%. Blue Moon is 5.4%, I believe. There's not much difference in alcohol. But there's slightly more in the way of ingredients. Blue Moon only specify the fact that it's brewed with um, oats, orange peel and coriander. Whereas this has got a bit more going on. This actually has orange juice written on the bottle. And nutmeg. Um, yeah, that's a nice looking... Sort of gold to orangey looking whip beer. I'm going to get a taste. Cheers, guys. Mm. That's quite complex, that one. You get the, uh, you get lots of orange initially on the palate. 
very uh, very citrusy definitely orange peel <coughs> more the orange peel rather than the um, orange juice it's quite um, uh, it's quite acidy you know if that makes any sense you know the orange peel's got that quite strong smell to it quite strong taste to it <coughs> that's that's the flavour coming through on this um, lots of orange peel and then you get the nutmeg you get the coriander like I say it's like blue moon but it's just been ramped up a little bit there's a bit more in there yeah you're getting the uh... <coughs> I do apologise this cough is annoying me now let's have another sweet yep Nice and fruity on arrival, lots of orange juice. Then you're getting that nutmeg, coriander in the middle. And there's a slight hoppiness on the back end as well. Slight, slight bitter note at the end of the, the back of the palate. They've got a lovely, uh, lovely mouthfeel throughout. Very drinkable. And just in the back end, you're just getting that slight bit of um, slight bit of hoppiness. There's almost a little bit of an alcohol kick at the back of there as well, um, which you don't get with many wit beers. But there is just a slight alcohol touch at the end of it. <coughs> but it's very nice. It's a slightly more complex wheat beer. It's one of the better ones I've had. Um, it's nice and cold. It's been in the fridge for a few days now. And um, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Quite a complex one. A lot going on with it. Orange peel, nutmeg, spicy notes. Yeah, definitely getting there is a bit of spice to it actually. It is quite spicy. It's a nice one. Mm. With that orange peel at the beginning, there is a subtle spicy, uh, spicy flavour to it. <clears throat> but it's a nice spice, you know, it's not, uh, I think when people think spice, you start thinking chilies and things like that, don't you, but it's not like that. It's got a nice kind of zesty flavour to it. Gets the tongue going. Like I say, there's a nice levels of carbonation throughout. It's a nice gentle fizz, mouthfeel throughout. It's very drinkable, it's very refreshing. <clears throat> nice use of the coriander and the nutmeg kind of mid-palate. You get that. Yeah, and then on the back end, you just get that slight hoppy and alcohol sort of taste at the back end. It's it's good. It's a good beer. It's a decent beer. I've never had one from... Um, I've never had any other beers from Hitachino before. I've had this one before, and I've always quite enjoyed it. Um, so I thought it would be worth a review. Um, yeah. I quite like a odd wee beer every now and then. And this is a good one. I like I like the orange ones. I'm a massive fan of Blue Moon. Um, I think Blue Moon's a bit more easy drinking than this. Um, this stuff is slightly more complex. There's a couple of things that might put other people off. Um, so there is that more of a spicy taste. And uh, there's a bit more of a hoppy, a hoppy note at the back end that might put certain people off. I think Blue Moon might be sort of more of a sessionable one. <clears throat> But this is good, you know. If if anything, it's dare I say it, it's probably a slightly better beer. Um, but I don't think it's more of a sessionable one. It's not as easy drinking as the Blue Moon, but it's very very good. Very good orange wheat beer. Um, <coughs> scores, scores for Hitachino Nest, white Belgian wheat beer. I I like it. It's nice. Um, it's only a little dinky bottle. Um, I picked this one up in Morrison's in their four for six pound uh, beer range. You can get pretty much everything. That includes their craft ones and their sort of British ales and all that. You know, they're all in there. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a good score. I'm going to give this one an eight and a half, I think. Eight and a half out of ten. We'll hit the Chino Nest, Belgian white beer. Go out and grab it, see what you think. 
Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below. Uh, let me know what you're drinking as ever. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this cough, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.